So we've just been doing a bit of work on the boat, haven't we, Harry? Yeah, sure have, mate. The bow's looking pretty smick, if you ask me. Yeah, no, I've done a bit. Just been slowly working on it. As you can see, we've drilled some holes all through the bow. Got it looking nice and smick, and uh, just been, you know, touching up this and that. So. Yeah, well, we've just received the call from the boys from Southern Boat Trailers, who are going to come down and walk us through our new trailer. Yeah, no, they're coming over and they're going to tell us, you know, what's our new little features. We've got to have a pretty looking boat on a pretty looking trailer, so they'll be telling us all the specs and specs about that. So Keen, we'll go see them in a second then. Once we've finished up with those boys, we'll come back down and we'll do some more work on the boat. What do you reckon? Sounds like a plan. Yeah, all right, I reckon we get to it. Go catch up. Let's go. How's it going? Hey boys. How you going guys? What do you think? Oh, it's pretty, pretty yeah. sexy looking trail. I've got to give it to you boys. Yeah. Done well. You're missing a boat. Yeah. yeah. I know. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Still working on it. Yeah. Right. So. A lot longer than the old one, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, what's the specs on this puppy? Oh, this trailer here, that's our SBT2224 V-Guide trailer. More for aluminium boats, whereas the uh, fiberglass boat relies on the keel roller. Yeah. Um, really, you can't stuff this up coming on the trailer. You <laughs> can hit that from here to here, 90 degrees wrong, you'll end up straight in the middle. Perfect for you, mate. Yeah, makes my life a lot easier, <laughs> that's for sure. Nah, it looks... Oh, I'm blown away, like all the... Stainless stuff, all the stainless work you've done, it looks amazing. Yep. Well, you haven't got the cheap option, that's for sure. With yeah. all the hubs, rotors, all stainless steel, 316. You won't have any issues on the side of the road with this bad boy. Yeah, I know. Go no. top quality, so we don't have any problems. That's it. You've so done a spectacular job. So what's the go with all the stuff up the front here? We've got the spare wheel. Yep. All that. This all looks pretty flash compared to our old trailer. Yeah, yeah. So the spare wheel, if you have a look here, that's our spindle. So if you're ever on the side of the road and you do a wheel bearing or anything like that, which in three years of being selling trailers, we haven't done one wheel bearing on a customer's trailer yet. Yeah. So what you do, if you're on the side of the road, you take that split pin out, undo that nut. So you really, you need a pair of pliers, a shifter. You pull that out, the whole thing, whole assembly comes out. Yep. Then if you come back down here, Again, you just pull the split pin out, the nut, and the whole assembly just comes straight out. So you don't have to touch grease or anything like that. There's no packing bearings on the side of the road. Yeah, nice and simple. Very simple. Great idea. These are actually Dexter axles made in the States. Um, they've got a few few great ideas. Torsion axles, they are so much better than conventional springs. Towing, you don't even know the boat's on the back. It's so much smoother. Yeah. Um, we actually had a customer tow his boat to Portland a couple of weeks ago and he rang us and he said, mate, my fuel consumption's better. Yeah, so, that's how yeah, much of a difference it makes. It really is. Yeah. These actually have a grease nipple here in the front. If you have a look, you pull the cap out. It's full of grease, you probably can't see it. But it's got, uh, uh, it's hollow in the middle of the spindle. So it actually greases the rear bearing yeah. all the way forward. Whereas traditional hubs don't do that. You just, with your bearing buddies, you just fill the front of it full of grease and the back one is neglected. You don't get any grease on it. Yeah. So yeah. this starts from the back and works its way forward. It's a brilliant idea. Impressive. Jeez, yeah. It's all the little details that make it. It really is. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez, well, very impressive. So Done well. We offer a four year structural warranty on our trailer, which is the best in the industry. Nobody else will offer that. Yeah. Jeez, if you want a new trailer, I think you know where to go now. <laughs> oh, That's yeah. for sure. That's it. Bloody hell, just have a look at the size of it though. It's just so much longer than our other one. All right, so uh, we've heard you guys have got a lot of really nice features on here. What kind of separates you guys from other boat trailers? Look, there's a lot of great boat trailers out there, but we believe just a few little things that we do make ours better than the rest. Yep. Um, for example, all our wiring is soldered, not plug and play. So all the joins for, if you have a look here, for all our clearance lights, they're all, all soldered and heat shrunk with a resin core heat shrink and they do not leak. Yeah. So you, there's plenty of trailers, you go to the boat ramp and at night and stuff, you see one's got a clearance slide out and stuff like that. It's that plug and play stuff, it yeah. leaks no matter what. Yeah. So that, that's one key thing. Um, as a standard on all our trailers, we use stainless steel calipers. We don't use uh, max code or galvanized ones at all. Um, that's just a standard. Also, all our lines, our brake lines, are stainless steel braided and PVC coated brake lines. Um, little things like that. Even the, the cable ties here, they're all stainless. All our hardware is 316 stainless. Yeah. Um, the, 
warranty on our lights. These are 10 year warranty on these LED lights. Yeah. Sure. And a little thing, you know, hinge on your number plate, you're not folding your number plate all the time. Just little yeah. things like that, just separate us from the rest. Yeah, yeah. Um, sure. The Elko IQ7 unit, we like those because there's no battery at the front. Yeah. It's just a little compressor and uh, it actually works by, if the car's disconnected, the plug pulls out and it locks the brakes up. So that, that's your, your breakaway yeah. unit. Oh, it all makes a big difference in the end, doesn't it? It certainly so, does. Yeah, certainly putting in that extra effort. Looks great though. Yeah. No worries. All right, boys, get back in the welding. Yeah, thank we you. Will. No worries, cheers. Well, how exciting is that, Harry? How smicks that new trailer oh, look? It is looking good. It is really pretty, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Well, we're back in the boat now, so we're going to start welding out the stringers on the boats because we really want to get this boat on the trailer, don't we? Yeah, absolutely. So, all I'm going to do is use this template here, and we've already marked out a few, as you can see. And basically, this sits like, like that, and that just basically tells us where Harry's going to weld uh, got to weld the stringers on. So we're just going to stitch weld and you do it on both sides of the stringers so that way it ensures a bit of insurance and nothing can go wrong. Yeah, that's it. So what I'll do is when you have a look at our markings down here, you can see each end where we've got the line coming up. I'm going to put nice little tacks in there and that kind of just gives me, gives me an idea where I need a weld in between so I don't, you know, miss a spot, go from one to another when I shouldn't have and all that stuff. So, because it's not that easy when you're welding to always see like around you. So, that'll give me an idea of where I need a weld in between. So, I reckon we just start cracking into it, Blue, yep. and see how much we can well, get done. I'll start marking them out and you start welding. Yeah, sweet. All right, well, let's get into it then. Sounds good. All right, so now I'm gonna chuck in some tacks. So as you can already see, we've already got one in here on this line from where we've just wanted to hold these in. So now I can just go through, put one in there, one in there, one in there, and then just do the same, and then I'll just leave that one as well, because that's already got a tack in there. So we'll get into those, get it all in place, and uh, start welding. All right, we're all good, boy? Yeah, all good when you're hurt. ready, hurt. All right, ready, eyes. So as you can see, I'm just going to do that. So then that kind of gives me an idea of where I just need to run the weld in between. Go through, do them all, and then I'll fill them in. Alright. Eyes. Eyes. Alright, so when we're doing tacks, what we were doing before, we had the double pulse on and that just means that it comes out in pulses. But now I've just turned it off so now it just comes out straight away. Just It's nice and hard, hot and it just sticks straight away so we don't have to wait it to go. It goes and that's when you can hear it shooting out. But this one, it just goes straight away. It doesn't take a while to warm up. So what we're going to do now as well is I've tacked out this side. Now, we can also, uh, a lot of people would think maybe you just go through and just weld it all together, but we're going to go to the other side because when you're welding, at the aluminium, it gets really hot. It absorbs the heat like crazy. Like, if I put my hand down just here probably, like my normal hand, it'd burn. So, what we're going to do, we're going to let that one cool off a bit, do the same over here, and that gives us that enough time to cool down so that we can go through, weld it, fill it all out. Because with aluminium, it can bend if you put too much heat in it. So you just want to play it safe. We'll go over this side, do the same, give it time to cool down, fill that one in, and then we'll fill it in. And then that's kind of just the way we manage it. So I'll get into this one now. Get in a nice comfy position. As you may have heard in that one, it didn't have like the pulsing noise, it was just one constant noise. So that's probably, uh, that's just, John told us that's just a lot better way to do it. So we'll keep doing that, get this all done. Alright, so now Harry's just starting to do his stitch wells. All I'm going to do is turn that double pulse back on. So you just hold this button here for three seconds. And then double pulse, turn it on, and then back to the main menu, and then Harry will have the, the noise that goes bzz, 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 
and that just ensures you get a lovely looking stitch weld. So Harry's going to start doing that now and yeah. Alright, so since we've got all the tacks in place here, we've given the time to cool off and everything. I'm going to go through now and I'm going to get a nice stitch weld hopefully. So we'll do both sides and then we'll hit the other one. Once you do your weld, if you want it to make it look a, a bit nicer, a bit more eye pleasing, you get a little wire brush, go over it, it makes it look nice and sparkly and you can be a little bit more proud of your work if you're not too impressed, so it just makes it look a little bit nicer, gives it a bit of, bit of, bit of finish, even if you want to do that with, with your tacks and stuff like that. Alright, so we'll get this side done, get it look, looking all nice. Well that concludes another hot day one in the shed. Yeah. Got a little bit done today. We got this first section nearly completed as you can see. Just just ditch welding this the uh, the stringers and uh, yeah, it wasn't doesn't look like too much work but it's a lot of work that goes into it. Yeah, no certainly it's certainly not the most rewarding job to look at, but you just yeah. wanna know. Gives you peace of mind knowing that they're you know all nice and in, in and solid so you know, it's a bit of, bit of effort, but what you, you've got to do what you've got to do at the end of the day with this boat. So, yeah, that's it. So we appreciate you guys watching once again. Make sure you like and subscribe. We're trying to uh, get our subscribers up. We yeah. just hit 700, which is good. It's a good milestone for us. Every time we say go over that next 100, we're like, all right, another let's good get, get it into another gear. So we yeah. really appreciate you guys liking, subscribing, and all that stuff. It keeps us going. So make sure you catch us on the next one. Cheers, guys. Thanks, guys.